morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to season one, episode five, Candlepin Skins from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. I'm Jordan Britton, alongside Corey Lisi for Candlepin Corner's coverage of Candlepin Skins. We're going to introduce you to today's bowlers. Uh, coming back from last episode, we have Steve Kelly, who led the way in episode four, alongside Ryan Southall. Joining them today is going to be Joey Lister, through a 6-16 in qualifier, and Justin Lyonnais, through a 5-98, who tied with Mike McGinty, but won the tiebreaker with a 134. I'm going to bring in Corey Lisi to explain to you the rules of skins. Yes, if you haven't tuned in, the rules are simple. Bowlers will bowl one box at a time, alternating lanes. Uh, the highest box wins the skin. If two bowlers tie, strikes, spares, the fills do not count. Those will carry over. Strike will take it all unless tie with another bowler. Uh, the total pinfall for the two games is who determines our champions and who will return for our next episode, episode six. So get ready for some exciting action here. All right, here we go. Episode five <laughs> underway. Joey Lister on lane 34. JT Lyonnais on 33. Joey's off to the left, leaves the Kaliri. JT's all over the head pin. Gonna leave a triangle, the three, the five, and the six. A lot of new faces this time through all three of these. You these love episodes. to see it. Lister off the wall, Kaliri. What a shot. JT just gets by, leaves the three and the six. I'm going to get this out of the way early on. Eight, eight box there for Justin. Uh, if you or someone you know is looking to advertise through these, we are we are looking for some advertising packages. Contact Matt Susi, Jordan Britton, myself, Corey Alisi, or Lexi over at Lita Lanes. And uh, let's, let's converse. Trying to build the game, make it better. Get a big turnout here for every single one of these tapings. Steve Kelly, who led the way in episode four. On lane 34, on the head pin, but a bit full. Ryan Southall snuck in by two pins, just besting Timmy Douglas there in episode four. Off to the left, leaves a clear. Steve looking to make a pretty one. He gets by. Ryan's Ryan. got to make this here to force the carry over. As he, oh, the clear oh, goes twice. Two spares, two Kaliris, great conversions from Ryan Southall and Joey Lister, and we are carrying what over, and Steve says, give me that. Beautiful 10. He says, pins matter, folks. Don't forget. And we are bowling box to box for money, but as Corey mentioned in our intro, the top two bowlers from this episode are going to carry on, to, or carry over to episode six. JT's off to the right. Take five. Lister loading up his fill. He's on the head pin. And JT Lyonnais on 34. 189 high single. Let's go to the spare here. Oh, what a shot. Wow. wow. Still what a shot, but just didn't carry the four. 189 high single, 429 high triple, 699 high five, and a high league average of 118. He is of that, we, we spoke about it last episode, the Mark Ritchie tree of bowlers. Mark Ritchie's school of candle pin bowling. And your world's teammate. World's teammate, yes, sir. Team USA. Shout out Walsh and Padgy for uh, captaining that, that ship. Go USA. Yeah. Ryan Southall stepping up on lane 34. He's filling a spare. Another, another right in the pocket. The student of the Mark Ritchie School of Candle. Goodness gracious. He takes that spare bid, run through his stats again. 178 single, 445 triple, 662 five, and a 115 average. Oh, what another nice what a shot from shot. Ryan. Awesome, awesome shot. Steve's got to make this to force a carryover. Friendly Wood. Can he do it? Oh, nice what a pretty shot. one. Nice shot for Steve. We're carrying over again. Box three is going to be worth $75. If you are new here, welcome. Uh, but just to give you a kind of brief overview here, our first three boxes of each game are going to be worth $25. The next three, four to six, are worth $30. Uh, seven to nine are worth $35. And then the ever important tenth box is worth $100 in each game. So again, we have had carryovers with ties in the first two boxes. So this makes this one worth $75. And Joey Lister tried out for our first taping, just, just missed the cut on the last day. Oh, wow. On the head pin. Just the head pin. And even this time, threw a 616 early on in the qualifying. Did not come here for the last day and just snuck in. Joey looking 
it out with a bunch. He takes eight. We run through his stats. He's going to be in the lead. Joey Lister, 185 single, 445 triple, 698 high five, and a league average of 124 is his highest. For a newer bowler, he's not new to the game, but only hasn't been around as some, long as some of these veterans. He's got a, another a long resume of accolades, Joey Lister. See Kelly loading up his spare in the second, all over it. See if he can bust up to 5 7 10. He does, but not the way he wants. Brian Southall is on the headpin. He's going to leave a diamond. He's got the best chance here to cash in. Steve's going to have to do something silly. Gets on the cap, no good. Steve needs to hope that Ryan misses this shot. Ryan is all over it, off the wall, takes the six, $75 for Ryan Southall. Three spares in a row, 43 and a ball through three. Steve checks one for a nine, puts him at 37. JT sits at 23, Joey Lister at 35 through three. Again, Ryan with the only one to win any money after the three box carryover, $75. JT, three for four on the head pin there. Lister on the head pin as well. He's going to get a nice shot at a spare here. And this box now worth 30 as we're in the fourth. JT, pretty one. That, Cashes that in on the mark. check mark. Really nice shot. 33 and a ball. Joey looking to get one of his own. He's on it. Spare in the fourth for both our leadoff bowlers here. 33 and a ball and 45 and a ball for Justin and Joey, respectively. Mm. Ryan Southall on 34. He's 43 plus one through three. Good fill here, can really add to his early lead. Right in the pocket. Push the corner. Looking to drop them all. Wiggles at seven, but it will not go. He's got some nice pieces of wood here. Couple good options. Steve on his, I'm sorry, not, not Phil, he was open, but drop seven nonetheless. Ryan is all over it. Takes another spare. He has started with four marks in a row. Four for four. 62 and a ball. Steve Kelly matches, and we four have four. spares are wild. We nice, love to see it. Nice trip there from our four bowlers with four spares in the fourth box. So every bowler filling here. We love to see it. Yeah, the fills don't matter here in regards to winning. We are carrying over regardless. So this box is worth $60. Doesn't matter who fills what. Whoever wins the box will take all the money. Joey just gets by. He's a four horseman, right? JT also gets by, and he's still working. He's probably wants that thing to stay up. Yeah, the way that wood's sitting for JT, that's perfect. Joey looked to run. Nice little guy. Yeah, Joey just gets by, plus the three. Little helper in the back with JT, but can't take the head pin. Got to hit the object. Joey plucks just one. Interesting play to not go for uh, just the two. JT gets by, takes a nine. JT sits at 47, Joey 59. Again, still early, a lot of bowling left, but nobody's really running away. Southall has himself four in a row. What a great start. But still, only up. Three on Joey Lister's right now, my, before the fill. Oh, fill in the box, so he's got a little bit of a lead. But. Both these guys also loading up. Steve's on the head pin, through the heart, plucks the seven as well. Ryan's on the head pin, stop me if I've said that before. Drops seven, leaves the three, five, and six. Steve looking to cut it over, takes three. Ten could take this if Ryan doesn't get this spare, so you gotta make sure you're pending well. Ryan for five in a row just gets by. Nine creates a carryover. A ten could get it done. Steve gets by, so Ryan's plucks one for a carry, makes them both for the win, or gets by JT. for a nine box to get it done for JT. So JT with a nine wins sixty dollars. Not exactly how they draw it up, but you take it when you get it. It's wild because you can you can throw a double like Matt Susi in episode two and get nothing. You throw a nine box and get sixty dollars. He's up and ready to go. He's in the pocket. Oh, that piece of wood was coming over if it didn't get hit. He leaves the two, the four, and the five. Joey's on the head pin himself. Oh, he'll stay right there. Good luck. JT cashes in. Nice shot. 57 and a ball through six. Joey's looking to get on the four pin here. Send that piece of wood over. Sweep the 10. He does. Oh, See you later. Shot. Nice shot. Great shot there from Joey Lister. Matching spares again for our leadoff bowlers. 
Strike will take it unless both bowlers throw a strike. Anything less? Carrying over again. Let's see what Ryan Southall can do. At his first box without a mark in the fourth. He sits at 77 through the first half of the first game. Can we get back on a roll as he ooh, just skates by. Steve Kelly looking to get himself a skin, but gets by the head pin. One, so again, three, we are seven, carrying eight, over ten. here. One, three, seven, eight, ten for Ryan there. Pretty when it goes. Plays it outside and oh, <laughs> see you later. What a shot. Go Steve four, Kelly four looking again. to run it. Ah, oh, it just gets by. We were carrying over nonetheless, so nothing to lose there for either one of those bowlers once they didn't throw a strike. 87 and a ball through six for Ryan Southall right now. This is what we saw from him in the qualifier, where he just could not miss, could do no wrong, was making pretty shots, stringing them together. Just a, a really, really impressive performance thus far from, from Ryan Southall. And off to a, an early advantage, so he's up 18 on Joey, and then 19 on Steve. So good little cushion, but a lot of room. He needs to get himself going now and kind of shrink that deficit. He's done a whole other game. Joey threw the hard on the fill. Spread eagle. As he gets by, takes only three, puts him at 60. Joey just gets by his object. Oh, he might take it anyway. JT with the Worcester. He's got five on the plate. One, four, five, seven, ten. Joey with a great nine box. Spread eagle. If you can get nine or ten, you're decently happy with it. And JT somehow takes just a five. Quite the shot there. Wow, when you see that. Tough six. 66 through seven. So he's 16 back of Lister. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, of Lister. That was seven. You just did. Two back of Steve Kelly. Steve does have a box in hand, and Ryan's up 21 plus a fill and the rest of the box. So Ryan's got a nice little push. Steve gets off to the right, but there's a makeable spare. Ryan on the head pin again, breaks it up. Looking at the 4-7 with a beautiful piece of wood for a spare. 95 through six. Steve looking to run it down, he's Shot. on it. Ryan's got a match here to force a carryover. Oh, he catches the cap up high. No good. Steve gets himself. $65 skin. $65 skin, and something just came crashing down. Ouch. So we will work on that, and we'll bring you back in. I know, Great we know round Jeremy of applause for the crew here at Lita Lanes. Matt and Jeremy ran back with a quick lane breakdown. In post, it's going to be no really time at all. Incredibly quick for the episode, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we get Joey Lister back up on 33, JT Lyonnaise on 34. Eighth, eighth box of the first game. JT sit at 66, Joey at 82. Both bowl is open. JT's on the head pin, but leaves the 4-5-7. Joey on the head pin as well. This is still working here. Now the 9-10. See how the wood settles. Oh, that wood's going all the way oh, up and all the flat. way flat. Mm. Run that right back. That's, he's got to get a little left. Oh, this is JT. It's going to be a little left, so it carries a 10 pin on here on that wood. It's on a nice shot for Joey Lister. Spare in the eighth, 92 and a ball. Talking to Joey Lister during our brief intermission, he said, oh, I'm just going to just gonna run everything to either carry over or take every skin. He wants every skin from now to the end of next game. It's a lofty goal. I mean, hey, that's where your head's going to be. You He's off to a good skin. start. Yeah, absolutely. You want to take every skin. Joey does not want everyone to have fun. No, Joey... He wants him to have fun. Be greedy. I can't say I wouldn't be thinking the same way if I was on the lanes, but I'm back here. Rightfully so. Southall off to the left. Four horsemen plus the nine. Kelly loading up. Can he do it with a dime? No, but takes eight. And another friendly piece of wood sitting on that deck. 86 for Steve. Steve. Steve needs to run these two to carry over. Otherwise, Joey's getting his first skin. Sends it. Oh, mama. Wow. Joey, Joey got a skin. Joey said he was going to take them all, and he got the first one. So let's see if he can carry out the rest. Steve misses with four for a nine box, puts him at 95. Ryan Southall, a stellar 114. Joey Lister, 92 in a ball. 
JT75. So Ryan's up 19 on Steve, who's up three on Joey Lister. Joey does have this fill here, though. So a little bit of a, a cushion for Looking get a big fill, let's see. But a hammer here, that was a great ball for him. Only takes five, leaves the hay bale, the star line of five, star light five, the cluster of five. He leaves five pins on the deck. All in a row. Let's see if he can make them. Ah, it just gets by. JT's got a whole bunch of wood. Oh. Right did not carry the nine. I almost wondered if he was going to go left. But he had to go a little more just to ensure that, that nine carry. Joey plays it outside. Pretty ten. JT nice ten takes the well. easy way to get ten on that one. Some might call it the harder way. No, that was exactly what he was trying to do. Matching tens here in the ninth. A mark for one of our bowlers would mean $35. If they match, they carry over. Steve oh, cuts the four thin, takes out three. To three on that one, South Hall. Back All on over it. Can he bust it up? Yes. Yes, he can. And a clean shot at the seven. Can Steve blow it up? Ball, but leaves two. Ryan, just a seven pin. All over it. 124 and a ball. Takes the skin. $35. And this takes us into the 10th. This box is going to be worth $100. And again, this box will carry over if two people tie. It's only the final box of the episode that will only carry over between the tie bowlers and a roll. -off. JT off, leaves the snowplow. Lister, oh. can he drop all 10? Wiggles the five, will not go. JT gets by, might take the head pin anyway. Hold on a second. Still leaves the nine. Joey, right on it. Spare in the 10th. Puts him at 117, plus a ball. Again, this fill won't matter for anything, again, other than his total pinfall to determine who's gonna carry over to the next episode. So a big ball. Oh, it doesn't win him any money. All over. Oh, wow. I guess okay. we've, said, we've said it quite a few times. You wanna leave that right there. You what? don't wanna have to shoot it there. So I got the one, two, three, four, six. That's something. Great place to leave it. Only the button takes it. No, we think about like, that looks awful. That one leaves it very <laughs> He's going to have to clear the left gutter on 33 before Ryan throws his fill ball here. We will not penalize Steve for that. So a, sp a spare to carry over into the next episode. Strike to take it. Next episode? We got uh, to wait, wait that sorry. long? Sorry, ne ne God. next game. Humble. Talk about a cliffhanger. <sighs> Waiting for the pins re to reload now. There it goes. South Hall and his oh, fill right in the pocket. Can he take them all? Oh, oh, oh. Everything but the four. I'd almost got swept, too. So he needs to punch that pin in the face to carry over unless Steve throws a strike here. Steve looking to hammer up. Leaves the 5 7. Some wood on the plate. Got a chance. South Hall, the catch. Oh, gets now by. Steve needs a big marker. Joey gets himself another $100. You're looking to. I'd play off the wall on the left side. Trying to catch the tip. Does not. Joey Lister gets himself another hundred dollars here. Joey called the shot. Takes two out of the last three skins, puts himself at $135. So through one game. Uh, in the lead, Ryan Southall with a huge 143. Joey Lister, big finish for a 122. Steve Kelly, eight back of Joey at a 114. And JT with some work to do with, uh, with a 95 in game one. Switching sides, JT on lane 34. Looking to get going here in game two. This skin is going to be worth $25. JT just skating by. One, two, ten. I mean, Ryan's got himself a good lead, but that second spot still uh, up for grabs. There are only eight pins right now. Wide open. Joey drops nine. Took a while to get there, but he got there. JT looking to make a fun one. Nice shot. There it is. Spare in the first. 
where Justin Line is. So we're looking to match. Drives it right back. On it. Sends that piece of wood up in the air. Took out the 10. Matching spares for our leadoff bowlers. Not missing a two. Ryan did not pluck just the two. We'll reset. Waiting for the pins to load here. So a strike here for one of the bowlers. Needs a win in the skin. Ryan all over it. Drops eight. Steve can throw a strike here to win the skin. He's off. We are carrying over. Ryan looking to stay hot, and he is all over it. Spare in the first. Can Steve run it down? It's 4 7 10 left. Gonna look to grab a couple. Takes two for a nine. Now the three bowlers all sitting on spares here. So with nine boxes to go, Ryan 153, Joey 132, Steve nine pins back, plus uh, the fill for Joey. And then JT says at 105, 27 back of Joey. Lister just gets by, 137, carried the 10 late. JT all over it, and goodness gracious, wow. six, eight, 10? Joey looking to make it, but just gets by. He knew it right away. JT took that one out of the gutter. Indicates minus one. Joey takes two for a nine. JT takes none for a seven. Again, he did lose a pin in the second ball. So a seven box for JT, 24 through two. And a nine for Joey, 26. All right, so as of right now, a 10 takes the, the carryover skin of $50. Um, obviously, both bowlers do a 10 spare or strike. We'll carry over again, or both nines. Steve in the second gets by. Cleary minus the four. Ryan looking to load up here. Off, but gets a nice break. Oh, I thought the two pin was going to take, or three pin was going to take out the head pin. He takes seven, puts him at 17. Steve just gets by. Ryan looking to make a pretty one on the head pin. Oh. oh, that's a big pin there. No go there. The nine pin stands up and fights. So he needs this to force a carry. Oh, no, he needs this to win the skin. I'm sorry. And he's on it. Give me that. $50. $50. Ryan Southall now takes the lead financially as well, up to $160. Joey Lister in second. The money and it in the score, 135. The money's actually true to the numbers. Yeah. Pin-wise, which we haven't had happen. Not too often. JT on the head pin. Can he bust up to 710? No. Joey on the head pin. Three and one. Two, four, six, seven. JT looking to get it moving. Oh, he sends the ball. Oh, oh it goes. Oh, what a oh. shot. Wow. You need a little bit of luck to get that shot to go, and he got it. And Joey. Oh, wow. Oh, didn't carry the corner go. pin. These corner pins are not cooperating. Stop today. me if you've heard me this season. No go on the corner. Joey grabs the seven for a 10 box. JT's 34 plus. Joey Lister sitting at 36. JT is down 29. So he's got, got seven boxes plus his fill to, to cut into it, but he's going to have to keep rolling. It's time now, to go. If you're, off to if a good JT. start with two marks. Same with Steve. You're Steve. You get a go right now. Figure Steve's gonna be able to cut this lead at least under 20, but he wants more. Gets by, takes three. Southall might have to get by this wood. He catches the tip, can he send it back? Rolled oh. forward, not back. Wood was grabbing the wrong way. Steve oh. all over. Oh, right across the face of the five pin, will not go. JT grabs a skin, $25, brings him up to 85. Ryan checks 10, Steve does as well. 10s are better for all our bowlers there in the third. JT with the only mark. So $25 added to his bankroll. JT threw a great fill ball in the second. 
but got that 2-1 split to show for it. See if he can throw that same ball and get a better result this time. Joey's in the pocket. Let me use the check mark. JT loading up on the head pin. Gonna break this up. And Wiggled the split. 10, but no luck. Let's see what this would. Oh, hold on a minute. Nope. Joey right on his object, but a little light can't carry the 10. This would. JT's looking. I can't make up his mind. Alright, found a settle spot. Let's see if we can get it moving up. Oh, yes. Tried to go by. Uh, JT uh, cut off Joey there, but. Do you not know that you. He, <laughs> he just, he just, just realized he had the epiphany after that. He doesn't face Joey as he checks 10 anyway. <laughs> Little smirk and shake of the head. JT was in the zone. He was there. just was, locked in. He was so ready. Frustration after missing, he was ready. I think he also may have thought Joey's shot went. You get tunnel vision on your own lane. You don't see what's happening next to you sometimes. <laughs> Seen by tens of viewers. Don't you, don't you forget it, Southall. Business starting to pick up here and lead a lane behind us. Starting to get a little bit of a full house. Steve Kelly on the head pin. It's been a little light. Leaves Leaves a diamond. A little bit off. Southall on it. Nice break up there. He's got three of the four horsemen. Spare takes the skin. Again, of course, unless both bowlers hit it. Clear shot at it for both bowlers. Steve's right where he has to be. Ooh, almost off the wall to take the six, but no go. Can Ryan run it? He cannot. And ten's needed here by either bowler. Steve is all over it. So we are carrying over. Southall gets by for a seven. It'll be all right, though. 44 through four. Six boxes to go. Brian Southall in the lead of the 187 total. Joey Lister in second at 168. Steve Kelly 17 pins behind him with a 151. And JT Lyonnais who's throwing the ball right now. It's 23 back at a 145. Drops nine. Good chance at a spare here. Four in a row on the head pin. Joey on the head pin as well. But drives through the heart. Able to take the seven. See if JT can face his two pin. He is all over it. That's the push he needs. Every other box mark. Joey just gets by his object pin. Takes one. Going to look to clean up here. Get out with a nine. Move on. And we'll pluck just one for a tough seven. Put him at 53 through five. That's going to open things up quite a bit here. JT on a mark. Joey with the tough seven. See what Steve does here. Steve's really looking to put up a mark here, too, because they, they got to start cutting into Joey's lead. And they're running out of time, and they actually got him open. Ryan just gets by, but a nice mix. One, two, seven. And Steve just got by, leads to four horsemen. So one of these bowlers is going to have to convert to force a carryover. Noted here on Steve that piece of wood covering the tent. Might actually, might actually see a corner pin. The corner pin South been, been stubborn. Right where he has to be, but the two pin just didn't want to go. He wiggled oh. it off the wall, but would not go. See if Steve can run. Right yeah, on it. We got a corner pin to go. Just needed some help, but nonetheless, a big mark there for Steve. As we alluded to before that box, so we're going to have to clear the right gutter. But a big mark for both of our trailing bowlers here. So JT can't exactly cut the lead to single digits, but can get it to at least 10, and Steve can get in the singles here. At least Jason Joey. Ryan's got a pretty comfortable lead 42 on at JT this moment. For Ryan, 36 on Steve. Comfortable so. would be an understatement. Still a whole half to go, though. Put up an 80 half, 90 half versus, versus 50 half. Different ball game. Lister in the pocket. Leaves the seven, eight. Decent piece of wood, especially with his ball. JT. Wow, man. Both bowlers throw an absolute hammer ball. Keep these wood, keep these pieces of wood close together and they're spread. They're getting further apart. Joey right on a pretty shot. JT's gonna have to pick one and sling it off the wall. Good offer. Sound like it hit the ball twice. That piece of wood hit the ball. I think those hit in the air, yeah. Pretty wild. Big ten box though. Drives it back, good ten. 78 through six. 
JT now 12 back of Joey after that trip. We saw his lead shrinking a little bit and decided to answer with this square. Right on time. Steve Kelly looking to cut into it now. Again, he's 24 back of Joey. And opposite of spare, so it's a big box here. Someone needs a spare to force a carry over or a strike to potentially win the skin. Let's see if Ryan can answer. Ryan's all hey. over it. Heartbreak yeah. hit. Hammer time. A little fist pump, some energy there from South Hall. There we go. Hammer, <laughs> hammer. Keep that carry going. We are now at $125 skin here. Boy, Box number oh seven. Boy. Love to see it. Can we just keep carrying Love over? And I believe, I'm going to check the stats here. Uh, that's the first strikes from any bowlers. JT on the head pin. First strikes from any bowlers in this. 410 with some wood. Joey's on the head pin through the heart. Four filled there. That's big for Steve, especially. See if JT can make something happen here. Get it moving. Sends Whoa. it over. Get off. Wow. My goodness, what a shot. Slid and hit it. Oh, Joey's got that pin still moving. Don't, don't, want, don't let that temp pin come up the line. Oh. Don't let it come up the line. What a bid for JT. That's one you just want to see go. Cleans up 10. Joey looking to make it nine, at least. He does. So Ryan and Steve step up to fill, looking for a buck and a quarter. $125 skin right here. This is a big one. So a mark gives you the chance to win. You know, at least one of them needs a 10 to carry over. And that'll make it a $160 box. Six carries over again. Could be getting into some big money here if we have another carry over yeah, or two. Southall looking to double up. That was a great ball. Oof. Leaves the 2, 5, 7, 10. Steve just gets by 1, 6, 8, 10. I like Ryan's chance at this, though. If he can get outside the two pin. Right there. Bang! Stop wow. it! What are these corner pins today? Oh, my word. Steve looking to, to capture it with the spare. All right, so. I haven't even heard this. A corner pin didn't go. Ryan takes this 10. We carry over again. And we're we carrying. We're carrying. Wow, that's wild. 83 for Ryan and Steve. That takes a 9 for an 84. And now seven, hundred and sixty dollar box coming boy, up. Oh boy, oh boy! And don't forget that hundred dollar box in the tenth is still looming. So there's a lot of money on the board right now. If we have, I would love to see two carryovers. Scott puts us at what seventy more, so that'd be a three hundred and thirty dollar final that, box. That would be carryover twice. Joey in the pocket. Leaves three, five, ten. JT on the head pin. Oh, Can he drop them all? No, wow, that thing is flying out. A little two pinner for JT, a little baby split for Joey. Can't get it up enough. Gets by. See if JT can convert. Put the pressure on South Hall and Kelly. And JT's all over it. Things are really tightening up now. JT only at $85 thus far with three boxes to go, but he could jump way up into the lead here if neither one of our bowlers can mark. Gutter has been cleared. There for JT. Ten for Joey. Steve gets by. Oh, but breaks it up nicely. Four horsemen plus the nine pin. Southall gets by. I need a spare to keep up with JT. Steve looking to run it down. It's going to work in. It goes. What a shot. Carry over again. We are carrying. Big money at stake here, folks. $195. Ryan didn't need to match, but was looking to. A tough five box for Ryan. Thankfully, he's got himself a 23 pin lead here. Steve and JT are on marks. $195 box, partner. And Steve has completely eliminated the deficit, and he has a fill. So Steve is going to be in the lead, barring a foot foul of gutter ball. JT just gets by. Wow. Oh, still, oh, still working. working here. Hold on. Don't let it come up the line. Oh, that, that helps him tremendously. He can be a little more flat on that Lister needs ones here, and he drives through again. 
all over the head pin, but punch, punch, punch. JT send it over. Oh, can he? Oh. These corners. I can't keep saying it. Joey trying to make a shot. Ooh, three eight. Give it a great bid. Good chance at 10 there, though. A 10 puts him in the lead for the box for now. Every pin can be big here, Seth. Joey looking to check 10. Carries the corner. Every pin, every pin. So we're going to go through the scenarios. Once, once Ryan and Steve bowl, we'll take a look at these totals. Ryan's lead from second, uh, box in hand, though, is 13. But he's got a box to throw right now. Joey has a 10-pin lead, but again, Steve has a box in hand. South wall in the pocket. Maybe three, five, ten. Well, it was more friendly a second ago for Ryan. Steve with a hammer to win it. Oh. Oof. So Just Ryan's gonna nine. convert. Steve's got a nice piece of wood there. Ryan sends it back. Steve's gonna convert for another. He makes carryover. this. We have a two hundred ninety-five dollar final box, and we're still fighting for to get into the next next episode. Steve's all over it. We're carrying over this skin. The last box of the day is going to be worth two hundred and ninety-five dollars. No pressure. Steve with a nine-pin lead on Lister plus his fill. And as much as as much as the carryovers has happened, only the bowlers who tie in this box will will continue on right. in one box roll off. We gotta figure Joey needs a double here. He didn't punch me. Saw him hit the clear to he start has made this today. You're right. I see some marks here flying in the ten. Joey looking to oh, run it. Oh man! Nothing but the nine, which is of course the one you're worried about with the clear. JT wants to send this over, but those corner pins have been in trouble all day. This would be clutch. He gets by. Let's see who can pin out here. Joey takes 10. Nice pin there. Could be a big one. JT takes only 9, so he is out of that. He's locked in his $85 day, and much better game 2 for JT than game 1. He just fell, fell too far behind in that rough 95 game for him. We will see them in Episode 6 for sure, but a lot of money still at stake here, so... JT 122, Joey 106. Bear strike eliminates Joey from this $295 box. Steve on the head pin leaves the diamond. Puts him at 119 through nine. Southall strike to win it all. Threw the ball for it. Is it going to sweep back? No, it did not. Oh, my. But he's got a much better shot of his with the double wood. Steve's got a tough, tough Steve's diamond. Steve's got to blow this up here. He's going to get by. Ryan for $295. $295 pitch right here. Oh my Stop goodness. <laughs> Stop it. So Ryan they needs need a, a 10. Uh, or is that not Ryan? Uh, Steve bowler. needs a pin for sure. Both pins. Oh, he's on it. Carry over with Joey. Ryan to stay alive. No. Oh, wow. And Joey. So we figured Ryan had a clear path to $295. Ends up on the outside looking in. He will move on to episode six though. So still a, a great job for Ryan, $160 and guaranteed to see another episode. So Steve and Joey will one box roll off until there is a winner for $295. Oh, and another eagle. Let's see what Steve could do. Hammer to get it done. All over it. Breaks it up nicely. Which one do you like better here? Um, Joey's a little yeah. bit. Joey's got to pin out because you don't know if Steve can, can chop one. You just got to make sure you get it. Oh, okay. It Steve makes this $295. $295 ball right here for Steve. Can he make it? All yeah. over it. Gets it done. $295 in the final Steve box for Steve Kelly. Kelly. Three, brings his total to $360. Yeah. The underdog. Steve Kelly started episode one against Sean Baker, Josh Daly, John Winchell. Advanced past that. Continued on after Winchell got eliminated finally and Tim Douglas, two other big names in bowling. And now Joey Lister, JT Lyonnais, and he's he's still he's still hanging. Takes around. him down, he's still alive, and he's winning a ton of money. So that wraps up our bowling.
Uh, Ryan Southall, the winner of the episode 258. Uh, for two and one hundred and sixty dollars, Steve Kelly two forty three for three hundred and sixty dollars, and Joey Lister at two twenty eight. Justin Lyonnais at two seventeen. We're gonna talk with our bowlers after a quick timeout. All right, welcome back. Uh, we're here with JT Lyonnais and Joey Lister. So we'll start with JT. So JT, you have eighty five dollars, sir. Got your money back. We'll take that. So tough first game, but you came back in a big way. Game number two. What was your mindset kind of going into that second one? I uh, just kind of throw the ball out there and kind of just center myself. I've been bowling well of late, and that first game, I was kind of shaking off the cobwebs and just felt better going through it. So, hey, awesome job. Appreciate you coming out. Look forward to seeing you again. Joey, go pack, go. Uh, but punch outs today. Spread eagles kind of like crazy all over the head pin, but just some tough breaks. Is that our prediction for this year? Uh, no, eagles won't make it. Um, no, I was been bull. I bowled today how I've been bowling recently. Either eagle or uh, get a mark, and I go four or five fill. So it made sense. Sometimes it just makes sense. Name of the game. Stay on the head pin, but today just didn't break up. But either way, $135 for you. That's Great it. showing. Thank we appreciate you. you coming out. Look forward to seeing you next time. time. We love it. We love it. All right, so now we are going to bring in Ryan Southall, Steve Bye. Kelly. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Pick a side, any side. All right, so Steve, I'm going to go to you since you are technically our second seed here. Again, just the underdog story today, just absolutely cleaned up. So $360 in this episode for a daily total of $735. How's that feel? Holy moly. You know, there's some games that feel like days, and there's some days that feel like games. And this game was definitely a day. Putting that on a T-shirt, folks. You write that down. That's going to be on a T-shirt. Uh, and then Ryan. So $160 for you, you, sir. I'll give you that. And a great day. I mean, just complete dominance. You kind of took Winchell's role and just kind of ran through everybody these last two episodes. So what's going through and what's your thoughts going into next uh, next episode? Um, honestly, man, just hit the pocket and just try to make my execute my next shot and see what happens. They don't fall, they don't fall, they fall, they fall. That's it, right? Hey, but again, great job. Thank you, Thank you very much. That wraps us up here. Episode 5 of Candlepin Skins from Lita Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. I'm Jordan Britton. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.